All right, this one's gonna be on shell check. It's a program to analyze your shell script and they'll give you some suggestions of what they think you're doing wrong and all that. So uh, let's bust this out here. Shell check should be in your official repository. So just install it. Um, but let's say we do it on a uh, programming language that does not support it. So if you're running on a script or something that, you know, shell check doesn't work with, It'll give you this warning and says uh, it only supports the uh, SA shell, the bash, the dash, the corn shell, stuff like that. Maybe in the future they'll have like Z shell and fish and all that, but right now that's what they support. So this is video here. Um, and maybe they'll add like programming language also, you know, that'd be cool too. Anyways, that's what they uh, support at this moment. So let's do this on an actual um, bash script here. Uh, I made this uh, 404. URL cleaner uh, a long time ago. So if I run this here, you can see that it checks my code and it'll tell me, you know, what kind of idiot I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing it wrong here, like this dash R flag that I didn't even know about, right? Uh, what else is it complains about? Like I'm doing back ticks wrong. Uh, I'm doing arrays wrong. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not using these. Uh, variables or something like that so they'll tell you you know you know are, are your scripts that uh some of the common mistakes that uh, you've been doing and they'll give you some suggestions at the bottom here right so you see these urls here um i mean sometimes you can read them and you see oh yeah the dash r and then you can look it up uh in the man page but uh if you want to get a, a better explanation of why they're suggesting you uh do it their way then you can always open the um, URL here and you can see they'll give you a uh, examples and the correct way of doing it and the, the reasoning of why you should be doing it that way stuff like that so it's really helpful if you need to read up um, you know and then try to educate yourself on why you're doing it wrong and stuff like that I really like that now the one thing I don't like about it is that since I already installed this program, I don't understand why I have to go out on the internet just to read up those examples. I mean, I wish they just like uh, clone those, you know, uh, wiki pages offline, like a uh, like a like a README or a man page, you know. But um, I guess they want you to go there and then clone it yourself or something like that if you want it offline. Anyways, um, so that's my one issue with that is, but if you're connected to the internet. You can actually read those, all right? Otherwise, you have to clone it uh, for offline purposes. Uh, what else can you do in here? Oh, well, they do have an online web page also. So if you don't want to install the program, you can actually just do it online. And if you do a load example here, they have an example. Uh, and then one, or you can actually paste in your own code too, if you like. And they will show up exactly like, like this, like, you know, that like we did here. And I'll, uh, I'll load it and it'll tell you what are you doing wrong. They give you an explanation here. So you can actually read it, stuff like that. And if you want to apply uh, the different changes, you can hit apply. And, you know, uh, that's how you can fix your code here. So if you want to do it online, you can do it with this thing. No, not an issue. Um, another thing is that if you want to write like POSIX compliant um, with your script, because right now, you know, we're doing bash and that's not always POSIX compliant. But uh, in their man page here, if you do uh, a man shell check and you search for POSIX, if I spell it right. Uh, you can see that they have this dash S flag. And basically, if you do a dash S and then uh, the shell that you want to use is SH. Uh, this will default to the POSIX compliant shell. And, you know, if you run that on your bash script or whatever script uh, that's bash compatible, I guess, um, you'll see that it'll complain if you're doing something wrong that's not POSIX compliant. So if we do the same thing. We do dash S and SH here. Now it'll complain about uh, my echo dash E flag is not POSIX compliant. You know, all my echoes there, it's not POSIX compliant. Uh, what else do we have up here? This double um, bracket is not POSIX compliant, stuff like that. So if you want to write your script that's more portable, uh, you know, you definitely want to do like POSIX compliant. 
So there you go. That's how you uh, check. Depending on whatever you want to use, so, you know, you want to write Bash or you want to write a POSIX compliant, you can do that uh, without trying to remember all the gotchas of the different shells. Uh, you can actually just use this program and they'll explain it for you really quick. And they actually even give you examples. So I really like this tool. Uh, I'll be using this for all my um, future scripts that I, I'm going to write. As far as the old one, um, if I have time, I will go back and actually just fix some of the ones that I still use. So that's it for this program. Pretty cool. If you want to check it out, uh, definitely use it if you're going to be writing shell scripts, you know, uh, any of those ones that they support. That'll be for this one.